Hello, welcome to Photoix. Uh, in this edition, I'm going to show you how to set up your camera to shoot HDR images. Uh, the most important thing, first of all, is to have your camera on a steady and sturdy tripod. This ensures that the camera is still and solid at all times. Okay, so we're going to enter the menu in our camera. Uh, this is a D700, so your camera might be different. You press the menu button and you want to find the custom setting menu and bracketing flash. Make sure the auto bracketing is set to AE and click OK. Next press the info button and then press it again and you can assign the uh, function button to bring up the bracketing controls. Make sure that bracketing is set and click OK. Now by using the top function button, press and hold it in, you can access the bracketing features of the camera. So by pressing the top button and rotating the rear dial, you can dial in the amount of frames that you want the camera to take. nine seven five three or none by holding the button and rotating the front dial you can actually change the amount of exposure stops from 0 0.3 0 0.7 and one whole stop at this point I'd also suggest changing your camera to either continuous low or continuous high Now the camera's all set up, ready to go. Frame up your image. Focus on your subject. Make sure the camera's in continuous high. And release the shutter. So that's taken all three images ready for HDR. As you can see now, we have the three photos, the underexposed, correctly exposed and the overexposed photos. These three photos are now ready to go into your HDR software of choice. Please see my three-part video series entitled HDR Basics on how to process these photos using Adobe Lightroom and Photomatix HDR software. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.